In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for NaCl plus MgNO3 too. This is sodium chloride, this is magnesium nitrate. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. So I can see here that I have one chlorine here, two chlorines in the products. I'm gonna put a two in front of the sodium chloride. So I have two chlorine atoms, those are balanced, two sodiums. Let's put a two in front of the sodium nitrate. Now we have two sodiums on each side, two nitrates here, two nitrates here, magnesium and magnesium. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. Compounds with sodium, they are very soluble. Compounds with the nitrate ion, very soluble. And in general, compounds with the chloride ion are soluble. And you can see that all of these compounds are aqueous. They're all soluble in water. And because of that, there's no reaction. All of these here and the reactants, they're dissolved into their ions. Same thing in the products, and they're the same ions, so nothing has changed, no reaction. It's helpful to split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation to really understand why. So in the reactants, that's on top, the products down here. All of the ions are the same. The order's a little bit different, but they're the same thing. That means nothing's happened. If we crossed out spectator ions, we have two sodium ions in the reactants and the products, two chloride ions, two chloride ions, two magnesium ions here in the reactants, two in the products. Finally, two nitrate ions, two nitrate ions. We've crossed everything out. Everything's a spectator ion, so there is no reaction. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for NaCl plus MgNO3 too, except there's no reaction taking place. Thanks for watching.